Hello, sorry this video is a little bit late, but I was having a hard time thinking of a video topic that would be easy to record for you guys that isn't very long or requiring a lot of research because I've been coming up with some pretty good topics lately. However, I totally ran out of time this week. Of course, I'm babysitting again today for one of my best friends. So that just doesn't really allow for a whole lot of time. Let's just get to it. I'm here to talk about Cookie. Hi. Cookie came to us as a rescue. She's an adopted parrot. And we've really welcomed her into our home as a member of our family. She's very good natured, well balanced, didn't come to us in a really unhealthy state. She's in very good physical condition. There were a couple things where you could just see that um, she needed improvement on her diet, but otherwise I really think that we got super lucky. I've seen a lot of parrots in really poor condition when they're put up for adoption. So I thought I would just talk a little bit about, no, don't poop right here. <laughs> You gotta poop? Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, I wanted to share some things that you may not know about a blue and gold macaw. One of the things I very quickly learned about Cookie is she poops a lot and frequently. Uh, I'm gonna show you this bird's cage too. That is overnight. Just in case you're curious, that's literally about the size of my foot and I wear a size nine. Gross. And that's just one spot. She poops over here and she poops over here. She likes to sit right here and look out the window. I was not expecting the amount of poop that this bird puts out. I mean, I want to say it's more than a dog, you guys. I don't even know how to compare that really because a dog, my dogs poop like once a day. I have a Yorkie, comparatively. He doesn't weigh as much as Cookie does. Actually, no, they probably weigh about the same amount because Cookie is about 1,200 grams, something like that. And Charlie is about five pounds. So she might even be lighter than he is. I don't know. Okay, my Google search is saying that's like two and a half pounds. <laughs> but anyways, she just poops quite a bit compared to a dog. Keep that in mind because it requires a lot of cleanup and cleanup can be messy and difficult because there's a lot of urine. I think that is probably a large part of their poop. They pee and poop out of the same space. It just looks like way more than it probably actually is in reality if I were to catch all of my dogs pee all day. She literally just went again. I've been talking for two minutes. <laughs> Cookie's extremely talkative. I think that blue and golds are one of the more vocal parents compared to other macaws. I was really excited after we got Cookie to see that she was actually going to be really friendly with us. Excuse my construction in my house. Cookie has always been extremely friendly with us. Um, it took a little bit of time for us to get into the stepping up, trusting that she wasn't going to bite us when we stuck our hand out for her to step for us but she's become incredibly friendly and that was just something that I wasn't sure whether or not we would win with her because look at that beak. That's really intimidating. I mean, it's looking the size of my head. It's obviously not its perspective. There we go. <laughs> uh, that's another thing I wasn't quite sure of, whether or not her beak was properly trimmed or healthy. And the vet said this species actually just has an incredibly large beak. And something else that is a bit long for my taste would be her toenails. They're long, they look very long. Actually, I'm just probably gonna have them trimmed here pretty soon, just to make sure. I've been told that Cookie is pretty big for her size and that she is probably a he. The water intake that we took her to the vet for last month has slowed down a little bit, but still might be on the higher side. So I'm probably gonna have some blood work done for her in March and we will see if he is a she or she is a he or whatever it is I'm trying to say. Where are you going? something else I didn't expect from Cookie is that we would become this um, comfortable with one another that she would let me pet her. She really likes to clean my neck. 
which freaks me out because she's really close to like my neck. But she's never tried to hurt me. That's something that I'm pleasantly surprised about that I didn't know about this type of bird. Like kind of like a, I saw the internet say this, so don't come at me, but that they're like a dog. They fit really comfortably into your family dynamic. She does drink a lot of water as well. The third time I have filled that today, which is probably why she's going to the bathroom so much. Blue and golds are actually from South America, so they're used to really warm climate. So a place like Florida is actually pretty perfect for her. She really likes being outside. We recently gotten an outdoor aviary for her, and she likes spending a lot of time on that. Also, sitting on her swing. I think, she, I think she likes that I wrapped the swing recently. I did that in another video. For the most part, she just wants me to pick her up constantly because she thinks I'm gonna get her a treat. You think it's so good? Thank you. Uh, what's some other unknown fact I may not have expected? Something I may not have expected is um, how great our relationship will become. She's very trainable. Very likable. Ah. Love spending time with us. Are you pretty? Oh, she didn't do that. Ah. <laughs> very pretty and very, ah. very talkative. Incoming. Ah. She also loves it when we help preen her new ah. incoming feathers that she can't reach on the top of her head. She loves ah. learning new tricks for us. Ah and loves basically just hanging out. Really wants me to hold her a lot of the time. Oh, and she loves to fly. I wasn't quite sure we would want to do anything like that with her. That's something I'm gonna work on, hopefully in an upcoming video, get to spend some time with her and bird tricks and improve her flying inside the house because we're kind of narrowed into this area that I can't seem to get out of on my own because I'm not, I don't really know what, I don't know what I'm doing. Something else that I wasn't really expecting is how much this bird eats and destroys toys. This bird probably goes through $50 worth of toys every month or two. They're expensive. I got this toy in particular for $10 and it's perfect because it's these hardwood blocks and she can destroy those and let them rain down all over her play area. And I don't have to worry about spending. I mean, I've seen some toys that range from 50 to a hundred dollars and that just gets really ridiculously expensive. I can't uh, afford something like that. So finding a $10 uncolored basic toy that she is very happy to destroy has been perfect for us. And then this is a great foraging toy. Ugh. I will look it up and put the price right down here because I don't remember how much it was. <laughs> but it lasts us quite a while, depending on what I put in there or don't put in there. She'll just kind of spend time pulling out the pieces and breaking them apart. And actually it's really funny. I wish I could find one, but like she will take the bits and roll them into a tiny little ball in her mouth and then just come out like this big. <laughs> I know I have to have one here. Anyway, Cookie eats easily five times more than my other parrots. She's a big old girl and works, works it all off too through her flying. Unfortunately for her, kind of unlike my other birds, she doesn't just fly around when she wants to. She only flies when we take her out in the front there and let her fly from our theater into my office. So otherwise she doesn't, you know, jump off this or onto us or anything like that. That's something I'm actually gonna work with Bird Trick on is getting her confidence in coming to us versus only flying off of us. Anyways, that's all I have for today, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next week. Have a good one.